Good morning everyone. Uh, today in this video we're going to discuss uh, in continuation uh, the optimal health, how to uh, cope with COVID, long COVID. So uh, last video we discussed how to help the flow of energy to the brain to cope with the headaches, the uh, brain fog, dizziness, and so on. Uh, yet at the same time, we need to... Sorry, I almost forgot the microphone here. Now we're gonna focus a bit more on the heart system, the circulatory system. Uh, to help the energy flow. So only if the heart works good, optimally, uh, can it uh, pump lots of oxygen, blood to the brain and other parts of the body. Uh, uh, so if you measure your blood pressure, uh, once in a while or every day if you prefer then you can monitor uh, the heart's performance how it uh, energize the body with the blood flow energy flow and uh, if the numbers come out to be within the normal range and you in good shape but if it's out of range, too high or too low, then you can do some uh, yoga exercise uh, uh, with your mind, with your hands, with various techniques to help the, uh, the functioning of the heart. Uh, so first, uh, if you look at your hands, okay, the reflexology, the internal organs in the palm of your hands. So if you regularly massage or apply some pressure you know, to these acupressure points in the palms of your hands, and you help the flow of energy, the circulation. Uh, uh, help the heart to uh, conduct the energy flow throughout the body. Okay. Um, so for example, your fingers here, top of your fingers, these are related to the brain, to the heart. So if you massage this top of your fingers and you help the energy flow, the blood flow uh, to the brain. Okay. Uh, and also the glands, the uh, pituitary gland, the uh, pineal glands. Okay. Uh, especially the thumb here. Uh, apply pressure to the thumb. Okay. And then on your left hand, the heart would be in this area. Okay. And the lungs and uh, the large and small intestine, uh, the pancreas, all in here. So apply regularly pressure to your hands. And you can repeat exactly the same with your feet, okay, because their reflexology are connecting to. to the uh, organs. Okay, and then uh, if you look at your arm, okay, right here on the wrist, about three finger down. Okay, this point will help the heart's uh, pressure. Okay, so when you do this, you put pressure here. You help the. Uh, you 
regulate the blood flow. You're stimulating the circulatory system. Okay. And then if you look at the elbows, okay, right here, okay. This is another good uh, acupressure point to apply. Okay. Do exactly the same on your right arm. Okay. And then you have the meridians running along here, okay, along here to the heart. Okay. So right here, this is another acupressure area that you can help. So massage here, apply pressure, or you can uh, put some percussion uh, under okay, to uh, stimulate blood flow regulations of the energy, like so. Okay. Uh, when you measure the blood pressure, if it's out of range, if it's too high, for example, you know, if you uh, have high blood pressure, and when you uh, do these things, okay, uh, massage your hands, your arms, uh, tap your hand, your arms, Okay, and then apply the percussion tapping under your armpits, okay, like so. So do this for five, ten minutes, and then massage the chest, the hearts. Okay, uh, like so, and then you have. Uh, meridians along here okay, so hit along here and then you have the uh, rib cage okay so apply pressure to the rib cage like so so basically here you doing good work for the heart and the lungs okay so you can uh, uh, use your rich imagination to use different forms of your fist and apply pressure. Your knuckles, your palms, your fists. Okay. Uh, something like this. So when you do this, you're really stimulating the energy flow, the dynamics of the eternal workings of your body's organs. And by doing that, you are regulating the energy flow to optimize your health. Okay. So after you perform this for five minutes or so, five or ten minutes, then you measure your blood pressure again. You will see that you know it will improve uh, greatly. It depends on how you perform your acupressure, your massaging. Uh, your yoga okay uh, and then along here you have the aorta okay so if you pr from the navel your belly button uh, so from there if you move along upwards towards your heart okay Press down, gently press down. You can feel the pulse along the way. Okay? And uh, if you have good regulation, good flows of energy, then you have very good pulse. Okay? Uh, so massage along the aorta in circular motion. Translational motion as well and apply the warmth of your hands to uh, conduct the thermal energy, the electromagnetic energy into the system. Okay. Like so. And if you want to study further how to optimize the uh, body organs, 
you know, for heart, the lungs, and the uh, liver, the kidneys, all that, you can look into the uh, the ch chini san uh, massage, acupressure uh, techniques, and that's that will be very helpful. All right, so you do that on a daily basis, or once or twice a day, to regulate the uh, body. Uh, internal organ systems like so so there uh, and then below the belly button the navel area okay then you have the aorta branching into two paths okay down to the near the sex chakra okay uh, around the hip area the groins so apply pressure there okay, to regulate the blood flow so that the blood will flow down to your legs, your feet uh, nicely. Okay? And then your knees, on, in front of your knees and behind your knees, massage those area, okay? the vein, the arteries, to get the optimal blood flow. Okay? So when you do all this, and of course you do the acupressure and the massaging your feet as well, for the uh, reflexology. When you do all this, you really help the heart greatly. Your help will thank you so much because you help. You you um, you help it. You know, uh, with the energy flow and you know, uh, so it doesn't have to work so hard uh, for the uh, circulation. Okay. So having done all this, then you measure your blood pressure regularly. You will see it will improve greatly. Uh, and uh, once you become good at this, you know, then eventually you can s stay off the medication and you'll come back to normal, okay? Um, uh, I've done this with a family member uh, and uh, it, it works wonderfully, so i just like to share the information. Uh, Okay, and that's for the circulation, you know, with the blood and the, the heart. Now, for the circulation to supply the oxygen, you know, from your breathing into the lungs and transfer the oxygen in to the blood, okay, you need to have a good lungs, okay. So if you breathe deeply and you hold it for a few seconds, Okay, for the dynamics, for the exchange of energy happens, and then you breathe out regularly. Okay, you will help your lungs greatly, like so. Breathe in, hold, breathe out. Okay, breathe in, hold, breathe out. Inhale, hold for a few seconds, exhale, okay? And while you do that, if you can apply the, the uh, percussion, the tapping, the acupressure on the meridians, the energy channels throughout the body, okay? And for the lungs, it will be below your collarbone here, okay, this area. Right. So while you breathe, optimally breathe in and out, and you massage or you tap uh, these pressure points, the meridians around here, and you can you can see the improvement uh, right away. Okay. One way to test that is that you know if you use the uh, oximeter, like what I have here. Okay. So if I stick my finger in and turn it on so I can have the readings of the uh, oxygen level okay so let's see my oxygen level now it's about 92 93 okay I don't know if you can read it okay so 
once I stick my finger in and if I do my optimal breathing okay, inhale hold exhale and then tap along the meridians for the heart and lungs okay so that's what I'm gonna do It's 98 from 93, 99, okay, you can see the number 99 backwards, <laughs> but you can see 99. See how effective that is, okay? So if you have a low level of oxygen, okay, by doing this exercise, you can increase the level of oxygen in just a few minutes. It's magical, right? You don't have to take any medicine or anything, you know, for this to happen. So, breathe in, hold, breathe out, okay? And while you do that, you tap along under the collarbones, okay? Tap along the meridians here for the lungs, to have a healthy lungs, okay? So, uh, so, once you have a good lungs and you increase the oxygen level of well, 96 up to 99, okay? You transfer all that energy to the bloodstream. Okay. And also you have the heart yoga exercise. Okay. So you can have good blood pressure, blood flow uh, along your body. And then uh, send it to the brain, okay, to the arms, to the legs, everywhere in the body. Alright, so here we have good circulatory system with the heart and then we have good respiratory system with the lungs okay and then we supply all that energy you know to the brain to the internal organs the liver the kidneys and so on and so forth okay so we have a good uh, organ system energy flow okay and uh, <clears throat> so far we use our hands to do the percussion in front okay what about in the back where you cannot reach your hand okay so I would suggest to use some tool okay something like a rubber hammer okay and hit a slightly behind the back okay you can use it to, to do the front as well okay because it will apply different pressure and different dynamics to your organs and uh, have various spectra, different frequencies, different forces. You have different stimulations. You have the full spectrum of stimulations. So we'll go from shallow to deep uh, stimulation of the body. Okay. And the upper back, you have the lungs sitting back there and the nervous system. So if you go along from the neck down, okay, and uh, Gently hit the back. Hit it, you know, with the pressure that makes you feel real good. Like, you know, you have a very good massage with the uh, professional therapist. Okay, then uh, it's working. Okay, so you do that for the heart and the lungs, you know, with your back channels, back meridians. Okay, and for the lower back, you do the same thing. You hit the lower back. The same thing for the liver uh, and the kidneys, all the way down to the root chakra. Okay, and also you apply acupressure to you know in that area uh, between the kidneys and the root chakra. You know that will help the bladder, the urinary system uh, a lot. Okay, so something like this, or if you want apply different pressure and different dynamics, you can have you know. Uh, another tool here okay uh, to help out where you cannot reach okay or if even if you can reach you know the parts of your body by having different tools you apply different pressure and different dynamics of the stimulation okay then 
you create a uh, an optimal environment for your body's system. And that's very healthy. Okay. Uh, so that's all I w wanted to cover for today's uh, session right, to help the, uh, the the respiratory system with the lungs and to help the uh, circulatory system with the hearts so you can have uh, optimal uh, energy flow uh, throughout the body and that will keep you very healthy okay as long as you can break through the blockages the conflicts the stagnation uh, in your body okay where you can carry the energy you know everywhere then you will be free from diseases uh, from many illnesses okay and uh, that includes long COVID as well okay I will stop here and uh, we'll meet again in the next video so have a very nice day and uh, spread the word. You know, if it works for you greatly, you know, let your families and friends, people you know, know about these uh, ancient universal techniques. You know that greatly help optimizing your health uh, without taking any medication, uh, surgery, and you can do this to for health. Uh, prevention for therapeutic purpose and for the uh, recovery period okay all three in one shot okay and uh, and it's very cheap because it doesn't cost you anything uh, but your mind your knowledge and your hands uh, and that's that's what it's all about okay so I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching Bye-bye now.